Okay, so we're on our way out to Techo and uh, I'm sitting in the back of the car and this is my friend Matrika in the front. He is a guy I met a few years ago when I first came to Nepal and he runs a volunteer organisation uh, where I first started doing some uh, volunteer teaching for a few weeks in the village of Techo and um, you know since then we've uh, through the Casa Om organisation which uh, has manifested we've now got about 23 or 24 children in the school and, and uh, Matrika is just going to tell us a little bit about uh, what he does and his organisation does. Hi Matrika, uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you do? Yeah, thank you John. Um, my uh, organization name is Volunteer Service and Support Nepal. It was established in 2001. Um, especially this organization works uh, for volunteers who want to come to Nepal uh, to work in different fields like health, uh, organizers, schools and some construction program in the schools. Uh, and the main uh, job for, for this organization is um, to deploy volunteers in different uh, places uh, in, in Kathmandu and also outside Kathmandu. So right now we have programs uh, near Kathmandu in villages and also in Pokhara. So one of the placement is Techo where John is sponsoring about 22, 23 children. Uh, we are going there right now. And um, tell us about that area in Techo where the uh, where the children are. Like um, obviously there's a very high rate of illiteracy. Um, the parents can't read or write. It's very high in Nepal. And uh, and with sending them to school and and them receiving an education, what sort of opportunities may arise for the children? So Techo is a, a suburb of Kathmandu. This is about. Um, 13 kilometers south from Kathmandu. This village is um, comparatively quite big village. It, the population is around 10,000 or perhaps above that. And uh, most of the people in the area are um, educated. Uh, but, uh, um, but some people there, uh, uh, they, they come from different part of Nepal and they are staying there to work. Uh, in a brick factory, in a stone mines and construction work. So most of the children we are sponsoring is from that family and these people are really, really poor. They can earn maybe three, four thousand monthly, which is not even enough to survive for themselves. Um, but somehow um, they are surviving, you know. Those children who, are, who we are sponsoring uh, um, their parents are uh, from very, very uh, low family background, illiterate people. So we are supporting them. Uh, I mean, John is very generous to support them uh, through VSSN, through our organization. And uh, what about the current um, situation with the government in Nepal and uh, what, what's happening there? The current situation is really, really complicated. Uh, since one year, we don't have proper government. The former government, they resigned. And uh, the, uh, the political parties, they are not able to form new government yet. So the situation is very, very bad, the government. You know? And how, how, how does this affect the people? Does it make things worse? Yeah, it makes things very worse because the government do, uh, haven't uh, declared uh, but its, its annual budget for the country. Right. So the infrastructure development and other uh, issues are almost stopped because of not having budget. But recently, uh, somehow, they are able to allocate the budget. Uh, but it is not effective because there's no government. Okay. And, and what about the situation with uh, electricity in Nepal? This is also really bad because uh, not having uh, uh, enough uh, hydro power production in the country and the, con the everyday consumers are in increasing and supply is really low. So we have like, we have load shedding, uh, power cut. Every day 
eight hours. Uh, during daytime, it's about five hours, and nighttime, three hours. Every day, we have no electricity. For so eight hours. A lot of generators running for yeah, businesses. Generators, and batteries, and these yeah. things are running for uh, computers and offices and for like that. Okay, well, thanks for that, Matrika, and um, we'll, you know, we'll be shortly at the schools and uh, meeting the children, and, and we'll have more questions to ask them soon. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you. Very much.